he has to make sure that he puts himself in the proper position for the future yeah. down the road. Um, and at this point right now, the Dolphins, they need to also make sure that they put him in the correct position because it's just because it's a playoff game, you can't throw him out there on the football field. Make sure he does the right thing. No, so, so none of us were surprised that this went the way it did here this week. And to Dan's point, I think almost all of us assume that it is overwhelmingly likely their season will end this weekend and thus they won't have a decision to make following that. That said, Bart, it does seem as though they will have decisions to make going forward in Miami about whether or not yeah. he is their long-term answer. How do you see it? I mean, I, much like the Lamar Jackson situation, I don't know how you can invest in a, in a player long term. He's eligible for um, a contract extension. I just don't know how you do that in good faith, knowing that, you know, next season, if he gets one or two concussions, it could be the end of his career. Um, so it, you just feel unfortunate for the young man because we always take a, a measured, calculated risk, and he hasn't got to that contract. Yeah. So it's hard for him to walk away. Listen, this has been the family business. This entire family moved from Hawaii, moved to Alabama. You know, and he's right there at the doorstep of getting a mega deal to be able to secure generational wealth, but it may not be left up to him. And, you know, you hope that he makes the right decision, but I can see a decision being made that you bring in a guy like Tom Brady. We're going to start hearing the Tom Brady oh. rumors because the reason they have one first-round draft pick or they had one instead of two is because they lost it because of tampering yeah. with Tom Brady. You think about the connections with Michigan. You think about Tom Brady saying he's not retiring. You know, that's a way to kind of give the guy a, you know, a fail safe. Tom Brady's not going to take all the money. But also, you, you think about this was a team that had two first-round draft picks because before the season, the narrative was, was Tua Tunga by the long-term solution? And they thought that he was, and they gave away those or they lost those uh, two first-round draft picks. Now they find themselves in an unwinnable situation because if he can't win and Teddy Two Gloves is your backup, where do you go for the future with a roster that you push all the chips in going for Bradley Chubb? That's the point. We've been sitting here trying to, as we speculate about Brady's future, if he decides to play beyond this season, we've thought about, well, who is just Tom Brady away from winning a championship? And we've continuously gone to San Francisco. Well, suddenly, if this is a possibility, Brady with Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell, and they made the move on defense for Chubb and everything else, that... The second I saw that in, in uh, Bart's notes, I thought to myself, that one makes all the sense in the world to me. Right. A, a, a series of ifs right. have to be cleared first, right? If they, they decide, or if Tua, first of all, he's got a decision to make, right? If, if the concussions are a significant enough issue in his mind that, that he wants to think about maybe not playing football anymore, that's up to him and his family, and they have to sort that out. If he wants to come back, the Dolphins would at the very least need a more reliable backup, to Bart's point, than Teddy Bridgewater, who has been injured in both of the games he started for them this year, uh, replacing Tua. So you need to make an investment there. Now, we know that they have had interest in Tom Brady before. We know that Tom Brady likes the warm weather. We know that he, he may want to continue playing. So if a, a situation occurs where the decks are cleared, where, where two is not in the plans or where they are not sure, then yes, it, it makes a lot of sense. It's just there's a lot of ifs, and a lot of it's very sensitive. I don't want to be here sounding insensitive. Obviously, Tua Tungavailoa played well enough for the Dolphins this year uh, that they can convince themselves and probably have that when he's on the field, he can lead them where they want to go. But the question, of course, becomes... Uh, his ability to be on the field. What is your sense of all this? Again, I, I would remind everyone Ninko played with Tom Brady for a long time. Is your sense that he wants to keep playing after this I, year? It seems like it. Every yeah. interview that he's on, he, he keeps talking about continuing to improve and yeah. improve when he's 48, 47, whatever he's going to be next year. He'll be 46 next year. Uh, he's old. Uh, so at, at the end of the day, you, you look at, he has to go to the right fit. It, the team that he goes to has to have everything that he needs to succeed, which would be Number one, an offensive line, mm -hmm. right? Number two, a dynamic receiver. And then a, a, a good defense to help get the ball back to you. So well, when I look at Miami, I, I think their offensive line, eh, I don't know. But if they, they, they invested such heavily, a great offensive they invested line. heavily in, a, in, a, in an all pro they left tackle. Two, uh, and yep, um, to me, I feel like sorry. if he goes to Miami, it becomes a package deal. What Gasicki, their tight end, is up for um, a contract. He may be a free agent. Uh, you call old Grunk. I think oh he'll like to come back oh to my South Bend. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Pack well, well, you want to be, I'll call him and see what he wants <laughs> yeah. to do. We're putting Brady and Grunk. Too. I also think that Tua, to be on the roster still, I don't think you could bring in Tom and have yeah, Tua on the same right. roster. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I like, think you can. Have to kinda, yeah, I, I don't, From a financial standpoint, you can. And the other thing, like you talk about extension eligible. The extension eligible doesn't mean the extension is required, right? Right. Like you can, you have uh, 2024 would be his his uh, fourth year, or oh, sorry, his fifth year option, and then 2025 franchise year, so you don't have to extend to it this year if you aren't sure. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.